potential James Bond contender addresses possibility of being cast as 007. Ferrari star Jack O'Connell has addressed the possibility of him taking over as 007 in the next iteration of the James Bond franchise. O'Connell, who recently played British racing driver Peter Collins opposite Adam Driver in 2023's Ferrari, first gained widespread recognition for his role in the British teen comedy Skins. With Bond producers still yet to decide who will assume the coveted role of Britain's most famous spy, O'Connell's name has been regularly floated as a possible contender among an enormous pool that also includes such fan-favorite picks as Henry Cavill, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Idris Elba. Speaking with Total Film about his upcoming Amy Winehouse biopic Back to Black, O'Connell was quizzed about whether he would be interested in tackling the iconic role of James Bond. Admitting that while he would be interested, he revealed that he would approach any such offer in the same manner as any of his other projects and make his decision based on the quality of the script and who would direct. He also admitted that the competition for the role would be fierce, and the ultimate decision is out of my hands. Check out his comments below. Even before Daniel Craig made his final outing as James Bond in 2021's No Time to Die, rumors and speculation concerning his eventual replacement was rampant. As one of cinema's most iconic and beloved characters, the honor of becoming the next 007 would likely prove to be a career-defining moment for whomever is eventually chosen. Yet despite the current state of heightened interest in seeing Craig's successor named, Bond producer Barbara Broccoli is in no rush to begin working on Bond 26. Recently admitting that nothing has happened yet, in relation to the next Bond movie, it would seem that audiences will still have a considerable wait ahead of them before they learn who the next 007 will be. But as disappointing as that situation may seem to eager James Bond fans, the presence of an extended break between the Craig movies and Bond 26 could probably be exactly what the long-running franchise needs. With the James Bond movies arriving regularly on screens every few years since 1962's Dr. No, the longest viewers have ever gone without a new James Bond movie is six years. Yet with much of the franchise's enduring popularity resting on its nostalgic appeal, an even longer break between No Time to Die and Bond 26 could serve to heighten interest and excitement for the character's eventual return. Whether it is O'Connell, or any of other current contenders, a decent break between movies could only serve to assist the next official 007 as they step into the role.